All right, let's see what Elysian Fields has to say for themselves. Detectives Phelps and Biggs, LAPD, to see Leland Monroe. Do you have an appointment? With a police lady. <laughs> we don't need an appointment. Can I tell him what it's about? It's an official investigation. There are two police officers here to see Mr. Monroe. And that's our cue. Thanks, ma'am. Do you have an appointment? Can I help you, gentlemen? If I could move. I would like to speak to Mr. Monroe. I'm afraid it's impossible. Mr. Monroe's schedule is weeks in advance. Don't care. Cut to the chase, sister. Is he in? I'm not at liberty to reveal that officer. So he hired you for your intelligence? <laughs> I find that offensive. You have every right to. This is getting us nowhere, Miss. Casino. Casino. Like to return with a warrant. That won't be necessary, gentlemen. Come into my office. There he is. Sprint into your office. Like a cigar. Drink boy. Cigar. Pigs. Huh. A series of domestic fires. Terrible How can I help? Here we go. You know we're going to get some of these questions wrong. You know it. Elysian Fields and Suburban Redevelopment Fund flyers keep turning up in the vicinity of the fires. They're turning up all over town, boys. Can you imagine the current demand for housing? So that's your explanation, Mr. Monroe? Coincidence? Explanation? Why, what's to explain? I advertise on radio and billboards for buyers, and I advertise for sellers using Weber. Okay. I mean, that seems legit, but I don't know. And it's not. Of course. Oh, for one. An organization of civic minded individuals whose goal is to make the city a better place for its inhabitants. Something I was proud to be asked to join. Great. What do you know about a competition for families to rent free vacations to Catalina Island? My company runs many promotions. I'm not familiar with that. Well, that's the, we have the flyers, though. See, win a trip to Catalina Island, right there on the on the flyer. Level with me, Mister. You know all about the vacation offers. You can believe whatever you like, son. You're missing the vital ingredient called proof. Your face is all over the flyers, Mr. Monroe. You know about the prizes, and you're aware that they get given to holdouts. My face is the brand. It's on all our advertising. Did you know that the mayor and the chief of police are part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Do you want to accuse them of murder as well? Offers to buy houses in areas where fires are. I got a uh, trophy. Are you suggesting that I'm burning people out of their homes so that I can sell them new ones? What happens to your plans if a family like the Morales refuses to sell? We work around them. Business finds a way. That's the American way. Yeah, uh huh. I bet you do. You expect me to believe that you would build a new development with one of those old piles smack bang in the center of it? Progress is an inexorable process, detective. Those who choose to stand in defiance are usually confined to the uh -huh. basket of history. To answer your question, yes, we would build around them if we had to. Most people see sense. <laughs> What's Elysian Fields' involvement in Rancho Escondido? One of our latest housing developments. It was due to open on the weekend. 
or was before the unfortunate conflagration. It met the building code regulation. Absolutely. Only the best for our returning here. Well, we know that's a lot because we've got the, uh, the bad uh -huh. order. There's something out of kilter about that development. Son, I've had enough of you and your fidgety friend. Mm -hmm. There's no way in hell you can prove that my materials were inferior. Yes, we can. We've got the porcelain that quality. I'm no expert, but I think we'll find that the bricks being used on those houses are undersized and the mortar is faulty. And there's no wall ties connecting the masonry to the frame. Every building is built to a budget. Uh huh. Budget. Those yeah. Those buildings. Expected and fully insured by California Fire and Light. Investment of that magnitude demands it. Do you think they'd vouch for the building without examining it? Yes. The arsonists. Do you have any suspects? You aren't at liberty to say. I didn't think. The contract is not even for me to suppose it could be any of them. I have a list of their names. That would be very helpful, Mr. Monroe. Glad to hear it. I'm always happy to help the LAPD. Mm -hmm. My secretary will provide you with that list. Did you know that I'm on the board of the police pension fund? Uh, he's like, shit. Here goes my retirement. What's the story? Any of these names ring a bell? Herbert Chapman. That's the, uh, that's that, that guy who likes the arson. Herbert Chapman is on this list. Yep. Sure is. Find the phone. We need to know where we're at with Chapman. Yes, we do. There's no phones in this place? Yeah, there is. Right outside. Uh. He wants a five-star goddamn win. I'm just gonna steal this. Just, I'm just gonna Here, steal this lady's phone while she's working. <laughs> I'm using your phone. She doesn't care either. She's like, I'm signing on my typewriter. How can I help, detective? Can you check whether we are still holding a Herbert Chapman? Let me find out for you. Better be. He was released this morning. God damn it! We have to go get him. Could you give me a last known address and put out an APB on the guy? I'll get back to you, Detective. APB will go out over KGPL shortly. Thanks for your help. Didn't we get his address, though, from that list? Well, I love the He shows his face in there. Oh god, here's Roy Earl. Apartment for some reason. Get the message about Monroe. Yeah. 
Earl delivered it. You? The count. Stop making noises about my pension. Sorry. Girl. Mm. So was Earl. So was McKelty when it's all said and done. So where are we going? KGBL calling car How are you going to tell us? Each receives a copy of the 11K. Go ahead. 11K, last known address of suspect Herbert Chapman is 650 North King. Aha. Uh -huh. Roger that, KGPL. 11K en route. All right, so we're Let's going go to his apartment now. Yeah, I mean it's pretty clear that the entire LAPD is is you know you crooked and corrupt. But that's not surprising at all. They probably were, at, you know, at this time in <laughs> in history, they probably were all corrupt. I did. I don't like to talk about it. Come across a guy called Jack Kelso out that way. You know Jack Kelso. He's an insurance investigator over California Fire and Life. Ah. For some reason, he's a little bit to him. Has uh, Jack spoken to you about his experiences on sugar wing relic or the rest of the campaign? Jack keeps stuck just like you. You know what it feels like to get back from conflict. You gotta respect that. Let us have the will. So he's an inspector for California Fire and Life that what's his face? Monroe said cleared the house that had the bad mortar. I wonder if that, you know, is any kind of connection. Who the hell is this guy? This old dude. We've already had a gun down on one old dude in this game. I'm looking for Herbert Chapman. I'm looking for him too. I need to move his car so I can mow his lawn. <laughs> He's definitely not here. I've been banging on his door off and on for a couple of hours. Mm -hmm. Damn it. There's some kind of problem. Let's take a look at the car. Okay. Uh oh, yep. Yeah. Sure enough, he's got the mosquito wire. Yep. Mosquito coil. Ammo? What the hell? He's got gun ammo in the car. 45 caliber ammunition. Yep, here's a flyer. Nothing but gives him opportunity. Yep. He's got a whole freaking box of them. He's got all the evidence in his car. There he is, it's Chad. He's coming out of the laundry. Uh oh. Shit, he's seen us. Uh oh, he's got a gun. That ain't good. 